We are here, we are here, we are here. On his amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up ELV stock. We are on a monthly time frame. Price action, last count to the right hand side, is a bullish green candle coming from an area of support, but sitting in an overall pattern of that area. So we do have price action overall, higher highs, price action overall, lower lows, midpoint, also adding second level highs, and also adding third level highs. So zooming in the price. <clears throat> so current price is sitting at 500.75. So if market works its way up from this area, it can head up to the next SRL on a price at 510.05, and that's overall structure. Once it breaks out of that area, we're looking forward to engulf the previous seventh to last can of the market wick and close out and push that market up further. And I'll be at 537.97. And if price action work its way down, head, head down to that midpoint of that overall resistance and support that we created at 479.80. And before making it there, it can head to the numbers nearing 500.58. So there's a lot of market patterns so let's just figure out why did the market push up from this area? So it's coming from down here. So we have first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two, retest three. So we have about one, two, three, four. We have five pushes down to that bottom. That's max most of the time. Uh, sometimes six, but majority of times five. If it's six, it's five in a retest. But so we got five pushes down to the bottom. Retest one, retest two, retest three and then market came back to retest. And if it respects uh, the support as it's currently doing with the price action being a bullish green can do to push up, it can push up for that fourth time. And then we're looking for another pattern that pushed that market up for after that fourth push, if it happens. So we do know price action is engulfing the second last can do. So that market is pushing up. So market did break a midpoint in that area. So we're going to definitely take a look at uh, what's going on in any is identifying a break and retest or what. And if that market does come down, it's coming down from a structure at the resistance. So that'll be identified as a first, second, third. Market turns around engulfment pattern towards the price in second. Then we'll see that double top forming unless price action become a doji, or excuse me, a um, if price action consolidates and sits between the set price action second last candle side by side we'll see that huge consolidation in that area walking down to the weekly time frame price action on the weekly time frame it's a bullish green candle so price action is pushing up so let's take a look at what's going on so price action is coming from that pattern at that low so market broke came back around the retest so we do see that first, second, third, fourth retest and the market pushing up from a double bottom and a retest or a triple bottom overall. And now we have a midpoint in this area. The only thing we're not seeing yet is a retest, which could be happening. Why? Because that price action did lose a lot of momentum to that top side. So a retest can be happening, coming back down to at least that midpoint or a retest can to conform next to the price action to push that market up from a triple bottom and a retest. Now, if not, that means that market's coming down from a double top. So we have a first, second, third, fourth. We have a double top, overall retest one, overall retest two, and we'll get that second push. So markets will be, if it doesn't, if we receive that engulfment pattern to the right-hand side, then we'll see market coming from a double top and a double retest or we just receive that consolidation until that market decides if it's going to break out above the price action candle or below the price action candle. Walking our way down to the daily time frame. Price action daily time frame bullish green candle coming from a second last candle which is a retest and below that we can see that incline W first, second, third, fourth. 
second last candle retest after it broke the SR line and the market pushed up but lost a lot of momentum to this price action candle price action bullish green candle has a long wick down up to that top so we're going to see if it's going to retest again because it did break another SR line so it could be retested again to push up further if not we're looking for that engulfment towards a price action can do to push that market down price action on the four hour time frame is a bearish red can do so it's trying to engulf the previous side which it did so let's take a look at what's going on so price action trying to engulf that previous side doji which it did but you can see that price action is coming back to retest that so if it's respected for that retest, we'll see that market breaks as it's currently doing. Retest, price action, pull up with another bullish green candle, push that market up for a break and retest. If not, the market will start heading down into that zone, and then we'll see that market work to, to it towards the bottom of that zone. And then once it breaks out that zone and go off that second last candle, it's working us down to, to that overall midpoint of highs and lows. Three hour time frame, same candle, price action being a doji, side by side with the second last candle. So it's still identifying the same thing. Market pushed, came back down to retest. Two hour time frame, same as well. So market pushed, came back down to retest at that top of that zone. So we gotta wait to see what's happening. It is losing a lot of momentum, but doesn't mean it can still push down further or may have that reversal. So this market has to do more so we can figure out what's gonna happen. Price action on one hour time frame is a doji, so it's consolidating, so it's retesting, so it's identifying a retest coming from a structure at the high. So it's coming from that green first, second, third, fourth, so it's a double top. Price action is a retest, so it's retesting that midpoint area. So now we got to wait for that engulfment towards a price action to either going to push that market up. If so, that structure will become a W. If not, we'll see that break retest as it currently is with the price action and then market can work its way down further. Same as the 45 minute, different color can do, same type of can do, doji. So we started still reading the same thing, market still hanging out on that zone. But if that market pushes up, that market will be identifying a new structure of that first, coming up with the second, then we'll see a third and a, and a fourth. So that's not happening yet, but it can. Price action, 30 minute time frame is a bullish green candle so it hasn't engulfed the second last candle yet to the top side or bottom side if it engulfs to the second side we know that it can head up to that midpoint of that area nearing the price of 503.90 now if it breaks and engulf that price action candle then we're going to watch it hit to that zone and break into that zone and then we'll have to watch to see what's going to happen next 15 minute time frame all it's doing is creating that that's that overall consolidation but on a 15 minute time frame, we're trying to create that structure. Second last candle did tag for support. So it's an incline W, a decline W first, second, third. And the market's trying to push and break out of that if price action go off the second last candle and may have to go off to some of that third last candle body and close out to really push that market up. But have a clear candle for that market to push up. You definitely want to see market break and close out against the price second, third, and fourth the last candle wick and body to really push that market up to show that market is dominant to push up if not then we'll talk about down the five minute time frame market will just be identifying as the break the retest to break the retest of the midpoint line and it'll push down further and on a three minute time frame it'll look like the double top market broke came back to retest for the first second third receive that pattern here market's coming down from a double top so far it's consolidating sideways so we have to wait for that market to do what it do one minute time frame same as well so market is hanging out in that midpoint of the resistance and the support so once that market engulfs the previous price second third fourth fifth to sixth the last candle of the market and push that market up and down then we'll figure out what's going to happen next very important information please study and review forex pattern cheat sheet break on retest strategy Click on images. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX, E L Y, stock.